Today we're going to do some jewellery photography. Hi, I'm Mick Sadler and today we're going to do jewellery photography. Well, pendants in fact, we're going to choose several pendants. And today we're using the uh, Super Softbox uh, with the 80 centimetre Q kit. But any of our kits would do the same job. And a 50 centimetre cube would obviously be much better for jewellery. Um, we bought uh, a bracket from a pound store and we've attached a piece of white foam core um, to that. And we've also got a piece of wine, white foam core at the bottom to uh, use as a reflector. And we're attaching the pendant um, to the white foam core with uh, closed pegs. And uh, so we're going to choose a variety of different um, pendants and uh, you can We've got a Canon 650D and the lens we've got is the 18 to 55 and we're on the full 55 zoom and I guess we're about um, 150 millimeters away from the subject. Really best if you can choose, you can feel the frame which we're not quite doing um, and the closest you can get um, with your focus. Um, we're using Aperture Priority and um, we're at f11 and um, this is uh, we, we're going to because we're an Aperture Priority it means the camera decides on the exposure and because there's a whole lot of white round we're going to choose to take the picture with uh, plus one um, exposure compensation which brightens up the thing we can take a look at uh, what that gives us um, and we set the camera on two seconds delay so that um, we press the button and then there's two seconds so it allows the camera to settle down before it takes the picture and it's taking the picture and you know from what you can see there it's it's okay and um, the problem with having a pure white background is that you really need to light it and you're lighting your subject and you're, you, you've, either, you've got a compromise to make. You've either got to do post-processing um, or you've got to slightly overexpose to get the white background. Normally in a photographer's studio they would be lighting the background um, so there's more light coming from that than there is from the subject. Um, so unless you want to do that, which is uh, quite complicated, and we can uh, choose and find several things to do um, just to uh, get around that. So we're going to move up the uh, exposure compensation by a third of a stop. And we're going to take another picture. And that is quite good. Um, we're going to um, set, take another pendant now, but uh, there's an excellent, uh, if you don't want to spend money on um, a post-processing program, online um, there is ribbit.com and that's a free service and uh, we've tried a few of them and uh, we like that one the best and it allows you to uh, pick a grey point or a white point to make your uh, picture neutral and it also allows you to uh, alter the exposure and several things. But we'll go through that in another video and that will be on my other channel, Inner Light UK. We've got another pendant now and um, hanging on the backboard because it's slanted slightly forward, the pendant hangs away from that uh, white foam ball. Uh, and as you can see, we are using, um, you know, we're getting the background pretty white and uh, not losing too much of the of the actual jewellery. Uh, this is ideal if you want to put on eBay or your own website. And you can be quick, once you've got these settings in, you can be quick and easy to 
put more jewellery in. We're going to shoot this little bracelet now and we're going to lay it uh, down on the white foam core at the bottom and we're going to take the uh, exposure conversation another third and what you get is pretty much the finished article although you will need to uh, process this uh, afterwards just to get a really good white background. We're now going to shoot this pendant which is pretty much all silver and you can notice that um, it's showing a lot of black and that's because we the reflection of the room into uh, is reflecting off the silver so this is a reason why we would use the front cover of the cube and shoot through the slit to uh, help this and so you should see the difference if I when I put this on So straight away you can see that um, we've stopped a lot of reflections now and we're actually making the pendant look more silver. We're going to take a shot now. A good thing to use for jewellery photography is this, which is fishing line. This is a two pound braking strain and it's very, very fine. And you, it's difficult to see in real life, let alone on a picture. Um, and if you can handle this stuff, then um, it would be a boon. But uh, it's a bit fine for me, and um, so I can't actually handle that uh, that fineness. And we bought this LED panel, which is an A4, off of um, eBay, and it will take. Uh, it will run from batteries or from the mains. So you get a light here, the actual color temperature is quite blue, um, but we're gonna use this to light up the background to see if we can make things pure white and get the product um, correctly exposed. I'm using the small stand that I got from a pound shop and uh, we're going to stand the actual panel there and this is a little bracket I made from uh, a metal coat hanger which is the type you get from dry cleaners and uh, um, we're going to sort of hang our uh, jewellery from there and uh, we're going to have the light coming from the background not a right colour temperature, but we're going to see what happens. Right, we've got this set up now. And because there's so much light now coming from the background, we're, having, we're going to have to up the exposure conversation. We're going to up that to three stops, because there's now quite a bit of light coming from the back um, and uh, affecting the image. So we're going to take a couple of shots. Uh, of this and we're on uh, F11 and we're on 100 ISO and with three stops uh, exposure compensation so it's trying to make it three stops lighter than the actual camera meter showing so as you can see from that shot that uh, really does work quite well and uh, removes all the background of course you can move that um, panel further back or closer up but at the moment we're probably only a hundred millimeters away from that light so you can move back in this cube and um, you could also work without cube if you needed to so uh, that's quite a good experiment, albeit that the uh, colour balance is different. By the time you're getting at least probably one and a half, two stops more light coming from that background, it allows you to expose for the subject and, and then blow the rest of the background away. And because it is pure white, then the uh, 
colour balance doesn't matter so much. You can also lay things on top of this um, and take pictures like that, but don't forget that you're going to have a blue cast on anything coming up. Um, you can buy these panels photographically uh, for 5,500k, um, but they're very quite expensive. And if you're just starting out, then this is an ideal way to uh, to go. Right, that's our little um, jewelry tutorial, and we're going to take these images and we are going to process them. But uh, to see the processing in detail. You will have to pop over to our other YouTube channel, which is Inner Light UK. Um, we're going to do various, uh, show you various ways to uh, post-process these images. So please like, subscribe, and if you've got any comments or you've got any queries or you want to see a particular thing, don't forget to write a comment in the box below. And we'll see you next time.